in a survival mentality, all you can focus on is the good, because if you focus on the bad, you're going to kill yourself or run away <laughs> and then kill yourself. <laughs> so the mental like captivity, the, the promises of, you know, other girls would come for a little while. Some stayed for six months. Some were there for three weeks and he'd say, they're just paying into our retirement. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't pay attention to them. They're paying into our retirement. We're going to get married. We're going to have five sons. So between the promise of this future for a child that I no longer even have because I disappeared in New York in a prostitution ring. My son was signed over to a guardian. He had me convinced I was doing what was right. And on top of that, I was being the only thing I was ever going to be. He told me every single day. I, he said, do you know why I love you? Because you're a dirty whore. And he reminded me every single day that that was all I would ever be. Everybody says, well, why didn't you leave? Well, I tried. People are like, well, but, but you were outside. You were walking on the street. There were people. Yeah, but I wasn't alone. Like I was being watched. I was being watched from around the corner or down the street. And there were rules. As a hoe, you are not allowed to walk on the sidewalk. If you walk on the sidewalk, a pimp can take you. And you are now his property because you broke the rules. They cannot touch you if you are in the street. There's, It's an entirely different world. I hate it because people are like, oh, the game, the game. But I mean, it really is. It's a giant game. It's a game with people's lives. When your life has been nothing but trauma after trauma after trauma, sometimes it's nice to at least know what trauma to expect. The comfortability that comes with knowing what's gonna happen every day. I knew if I didn't make my minimum, I was gonna get the crap beat out of me. He would say we were not allowed to do anything without protection, but there were so many days that I had to do things without protection and charge extra because if I didn't make that minimum, the possibility of getting syphilis was a lot better than the possibility of getting dead. And so you just have to, it's a risk versus reward and there's not really any reward. So it's just risk versus risk. <laughs> and survival is the reward if you outweigh all the risks correctly.